Hello, Denon Nelson here. I am at my Warland Creek listing and I'm showing you the main house here. This little video, I just want to walk you through what the different buildings and homes on this property are. Just what it looks like when you're down here and for realtors for showings. So we got a main Amish built log home. I'm going to go ahead and turn this way to the shop. I believe it's a 40 by 40 shop, but it's a nice metal building shop. I'll let you go ahead and look at the inside here. So it has a loft and skylights. It's really pretty cool. Pretty handy to have out here. Skylights, loft, workbench area. So a lot of possibilities there. Go ahead and go over here. I call this the little grow shed. It's like a little greenhouse in there. It has, it does have grow stuff to grow. You, you can't have gardens out here. It's a little bit of a issue for our growing season. So having a little boost start definitely helps keep you, if you want to do survivalist and grow, you need to have a little head start on it. So this is the cute little garden shed. I'm going to go ahead and take you on a little break. We're going to walk over to that trapper's cabin, which is super cool. It's really a vintage original trapper's cabin here. Historical. So I'm going to put you on pause and walk down there. We're going to walk down this road. We'll just spin you around on this back of the shop real fast and back up to the house. I will meet you down at the trapper's cabin. I'm still on my way down to the trapper's cabin, but there's some cute little roads and you see the red buildings up there. One thing is a horse corral here. This property is terrace, so little flat levels are used. And we'll keep walking down to the road here. I'll meet you at the trapper's cabin. Okay, I'm down at the Trapper's Cabin. Show you, there's a, a, another road that goes up to the main Warland Creek Road from this if you wanted to keep this as a separate access or connected to the other homes. We do have power here, which is pretty darn amazing. You can actually look over to the creek. The creek is down, down the hill from here, Warland Creek. But there is a little skid row and they've done a lot of the fire wise in here. Forest fires and fire protection in our area is a very top priority. We live in these remote areas, we protect what we have. <laughs> we may have insurance, but we love our land. Maintaining it is a priority. So anyways, the little trapper cabin. Historical, real original trapper cabin in this area. So anyways, it's got a little Sun's kind of bright, which is, we're not going to complain. We love the sun. <laughs> Look at these cute little steps. Everything's handmade here. I'm just going to let us poke in the door. The owners are gone right now, but let's just give you a little quick little. Okay, back out the door, the trapper's cabin, and I am going to take you back. If you think this was cute, wait till you see the cabin, the guest cabin by the creek. It is amazing. We have great access down to the creek from there. Anyways, back, show you a little bit of the back of the cabin. There's a lot of parking. Like I said, they've been clearing the land, getting it excavated. This will all fill in. We have a little and a little outhouse over here as well. You just get this manually pumped at the back side of the trapper's cabin. Okay, I'll see you down at the guest cow house. All right, I'm down at the guest house. This is down by the creek. It's a great road. The main house, you can see the roof up there. And I'm just gonna spin you around to this road. You can access this year round, but their daughter lives in this cabin right now. That's the well house down there, and I'll show you a little bit more of that. 
This is my old fashioned homestead. Look at the lilacs and the rhubarb. This is definitely a survivalist type home. When you're this remote, you will have to be prepared. <laughs> and this place is all set up, ready to go for multiple families. So most of our heat around this area, still the traditional way to heat around here is the wood stove. So this has a great little wood cottage or little wood, wood shed. You always keep those going on this land. You could probably cut a lot of the trees or have it cut for you if you're not a sawyer, but there's a lot of supply around here. Anyways, the guest cabin is so cute and I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and walk you onto the porch of it. It overlooks, there's someone here right now, so I don't wanna bug them, but it overlooks the creek. It's just so darn cute. Isn't this cute? Not enough that it's gonna flood up here. I don't believe this ever has flooded. And look at this, out uh, the, the yard on this. There's actually a root cellar that they built. So to store our food in a lot of the homesteaders, they didn't have refrigeration. So it's your natural refrigeration, natural storage built right into the rocks. I love a lot of the beautiful rocks here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of those. A little campfire down here. Back off the porch here. Look at these rocks. These rocks are just gorgeous. Landscaping, they're just here naturally. <laughs> I'm sure they moved them around a little bit, but. So this is a little meadow by the creek. You can drive down, all the way down here. And there's the fire pit, the rhubarb, the little root cellar. I might as well walk you to the root cellar since we're, since we're here. So we have several accesses to the creek too. I will come back, I'm gonna spin you around to this. There's the pump house for the well house, pump house for the water. This is a seasonal creek, so they do have a holding tank for backup. Should the creek go dry, it doesn't always go dry, but it did once and so now it's actually considered intermittent. And I don't know how many times it has, but it has, and so they have the backup storage, thousand gallon tank up at the main house. But check it out, <laughs> this puppy dog. I love dogs. You should always have those when you live out on homesteads. But this is inside the root cellar. I can really appreciate the artwork and the love of rocks in here. Okay, I'm gonna spin you back around. I'm gonna go down and look at the creek. And then I'm going to actually take you, I'll zip on up to the top of the main house and show you the yard, that storage container I was telling you, the water storage container, and another shed, which is super cute. <laughs> but let me show you, look how cute this is. The landscaping, the rocks, the you can see the roofs of the barn and the house up there. There's a garden area up there. Anyways, great little area to come and get your feet wet, play with a dog. <laughs> and that's Borland Creek. So one thing kind of cool, you see this little pillar there, there's a little rock pillar. There's actually a hand pump that you could get water out of the creek there too. So if you lose electricity, you're covered. Let me show you that creek. I'm going to run up to the top of the house. This video is kind of getting long, but show you that. All right, I'm back up to the main house. This little balcony in the back here. Covered porch on the back. Of course, covered porch on the front too. One thing they do that does make me jealous is antler hunt. I call it antler hunting. It's called shed hunting officially, but... Locals call it antler hunting. So the previous owner is a excellent one. His top record, I think he said he found 225 in one year. That makes my six look really measly. Oh well, I enjoy it getting out in the woods, loving the woods. So we do have a couple dog runs here. Their dogs run free, they're trained, but 
you know, you never know. You have people and you're gone. So they're nice big dog runs and dog houses. This is the woodshed for the main house. It also has the cistern in the back for the water I was telling you for extra water storage. Looking back. All right, we got a willow tree out there. The willow tree is by a garden area. So you have a little fenced garden area. There's two dogs. <laughs> um, we also have a chicken coop area that's fenced. And everybody always asked, this has its own little shooting range. Yes, you can shoot on your own land in Montana, as long as you're not killing the neighbors or shooting onto their land. But a nice little safe shooting range. Speaking of neighbors, I do want to show you. That is the closest neighbor's house. This is a great tight-knit little community up here. You do want your neighbors to help. You want your privacy. But should you get have an emergency, you do want your to be on good terms with your neighbors. And, you know, we need help. They're here to help. We want privacy. They're here to give us privacy. So... Uh, we're a little bit over eight acres out here. Amazing thing is, this is a county road. <laughs> they plow it and maintain it. So you don't have to. So you're very remote, three miles from a resort and restaurant, 90 mile long reservoir of water. You have your creek and you have privacy. Bring your family. Enough room for multiple families or income for vacation rental. We have a brand new vacation rental up here. That's the Warland Hideaway. The reservoir is really starting to get developed. So the potential up here is, is just endless. Um, I do... We have all these beautiful birds, which is so nice. But there is actually another little pond that's not doesn't have water in it right this minute but you know you want to have water's very important like I said there's another little target shooting <laughs> that one's a witch <laughs> but yeah bring your friends bring your family bring your dreams and we'll get you covered and hooked up on this beautiful property call the non Nelson 406-871-8765 and this is our Warland Creek listing. Thank you.